Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. On today's episode, I want to look at uh, Topaz Gigapixel AI. Now, I watched a couple videos the other day, and um, let me show you here. One by Sean Bagshaw, which I love Sean Bagshaw. I subscribe to his channel. He's excellent. Uh, he talks about different ways of upsizing your prints, and uh, he really loved uh, Gigapixel AI. So I'm going to leave links in the description below so you can look at that video and check it out. And then another, uh, another uh, gentleman here. I believe his name is Dinesh Dinda, if I'm not mistaken, but this is Pix Imperfect. Uh, he's another, this is another channel that I'm subscribed to, and I love his content. He's very good. And I'll leave links in the description below to him as well. He's not so favorable with uh, Gigapixel AI. He was getting some lines and issues in there. So I'm going to leave, like I said, I'll leave a link so you can watch that video as well. But what I wanted to do is give you my take on um, Gigapixel AI. And by the way, they have a sale going on right now, a holiday sale. I'm not affiliated with Topaz, so I get nothing. I just love the software, okay? But this is Gigapixel AI. And I'm running a test today, so I want to show you my results. And I'll give you all the information on how I conducted my test. And, you, and you'll see. And, uh, and hopefully you can make the decision for yourself. Is Gigapixel AI really worth the money i personally think it is but you have to be the judge of that so you can also get a free trial of this software and try it out yourself so let's get started all right so here we go here's my first image this is my image of a flower here now this is the original and what i did was i downsized it to this size as you can see right here and then i upsized it in gigapixel so let me go back to the original so you can compare the original with the upsized version so here's the original right here, and now here's the Gigapixel 6X upsize. Now remember, it was upsized from the smaller image here, okay? Just, just so that makes sense to you. All right, so anyway, so here's the original, and here's the Gigapixel. Now I don't know if you can see this uh, watching the video, but the Gigapixel looks slightly sharper. And I did not use any noise reduction in Giga, Gigapixel, and I did not use any sharpening in Gigapixel. So any sharpening I'm seeing here is part of the upscaling and, you know, algorithm or whatever it's doing. I don't know how it works, but, you know, it looks a little bit sharper. It actually looks a little bit better. At least on a flower image, it looks really good. So let's pixel peep now. Uh, Dinesh Dindo on Pix and Perfect, he was complaining about getting line artifacts like running through the through the scene at certain parts. I used to see that early on when I had Gigapixel originally, but since I'd say over over at least three quarters of a year ago, I haven't seen anything. So take my word for it if you'd like. I'm gonna zoom in and if you can see any artifacting, let me know. But let's zoom way into this image here and let's start at the top and work our way down. As you can see, it does a really great job. Sean Bagshaw really enjoys this software. He's not saying it's 100% it's perfect, but he really likes it, and I must agree with him. I see no line artifacting in here. It looks really good. In fact, it looks a little bit sharper, and it does not uh, sharpen any noise or anything, so it does a great job. And again, I use no noise reduction in the software, nor did I use sharpening. So let me go back to full screen here. And let's go over to the original. And it's already full screen. So there's the original. And there is the Gigapixel. So that's the first image. On to the next image. I wanted to be fair to Dinesh Dinda because he basically did his test with a portrait. So I wanted to put a couple portraits in just to show you. One is mine, this one here. And I have another one which is a stock image from the internet. Okay. So here's the original. And I downsized it to this size right here, which is a much smaller size. And I gave you the specs at the beginning. So, so that's the downsize. And that's what I made my upsize from, the downsize on all these images, okay? So let's go back to the original size right here. And let's compare that to the um, gigapixel upsize picture, which is right here. Now, one thing you'll probably notice right off the bat, it is a little bit sharper. And as I said on the last image, I used no sharpening in Gigapixel, nor noise reduction. So let's zoom in here. So it looks a little sharper. Is that a good or a bad thing? I think in outdoor photography, landscapes and flowers and things like that, 
typical photography. I don't think a little extra sharpening is going to hurt you. It's going to help you, I think. And portraits, is it going to hurt or help? I'm not really big on portraits, um, but it may or may not. I personally don't think it would, but this is slightly sharper. I mean, if you look at the hair, it looks really great. Let's go back to the original. Just see if you can see this on the video. So there's the original, and here's the gigapixel upsize. So it's definitely a little bit sharper. And I don't know. I like it. I think it looks good. But let's zoom in and see if there's any artifacting like Dinesh Dinda was seeing on Pix and Perfect. So let's start at the top, work our way down through. And so no artifacting whatsoever in this image. It looks good, and I'm totally happy with it. Let me go back to full size. I'm just using uh, my TK Action panel. It just helps me get there quicker. Someday I'm going to do a tutorial on that. Now let's go to the original, and let's zoom in on it. So here's the original here. Okay, and so it's it's not quite as sharp, but it looks good. Okay, so there's the original. Let me go back to the full size. And then just one more time, here's the original, and here is the 6x gigapixel upsize. And now bear in mind, it was upsized from the downsized image, okay? So I didn't upsize the original size, I upsized the downsized image. So I think that's important. It does a great job. I really love it. Really happy with it. All right, so on to the next picture. Okay, so this is a stock image, and I did a tutorial on this image a few days back. Um, anyway, I'll leave a link in the description below uh, so you can get this image if you want to play with it. Anyway, uh, so this is this image. Now, remember, it came from the original here, and then I downsized it to this size right here. All right? So, again, and that's what I made my... Uh, 6x enlargement in gigapixel from so let's go back to the original so we can compare we'll compare the original with the gigapixel upsize so there's the original and here's the gigapixel upsize as you can see i think you'll be able to see this on the video but it's definitely sharper and it looks awesome i have to say so again here's the original and here is the gigapixel upsize with no sharpening or noise reduction added and the cool thing about Gigapixel is, as I zoom in on this, and so we're going to look for artifacting, like the lines that Dinesh was talking about. So let's zoom into it here, starting at the top. But you'll notice there's no noise in this whatsoever. So no, no noise artifacting. It's great. And let's just go through it. And I'm really inspecting it carefully, but there's no artifacting lines in this image whatsoever. And as I said early on with Gigapixel, I did see some artifacting lines, but within the past three quarters of a year or so, I think they've taken care of that problem. Now, I don't know if uh, it'll affect other computers. This is a Mac, so I don't know if it works differently on other computers, but I mean, Topaz, they, they make software for Mac or a PC, so really, I don't, I don't think you'd have an issue depending your drivers are updated and everything in uh, Windows machines. So there it is. So now let's go back to full screen size. So there's the Gigapixel, and here is the original. As you can see, it's slightly softer. And the Gigapixel is slightly sharper, but it would make a great enlargement in my opinion. Now on to the last picture. Here's our last picture. Now, this is a stock image, and I will give a link in the, in the description below in case you want to check it out uh, and, and try it out yourself. Anyway, so this is the image right here. Now, I want to show you. Here's the image size of this, which is a... Uh, right now, it says 8.8 .8 .8 by 7.8, but in reality, that's at 72, at 72 ppi. I would have to print this at 360 to make a print off of this. So in reality, it's a 1.7 by 1.5 inch picture. So it is tiny here. Okay. And that's what I upsized uh, with Gigapixel six times and came out with this. And this guy would, um, let's go to image size again here. And at 360, this would print from a one and a half type inch picture. It would print out to a 10 by 9. So pretty amazing, I think. So let me just click cancel here. So again, here's the original. And if you look there, I'll just zoom in really slightly. You can see it's pixelated. It's really tiny. It's a little 
one and a half inch picture okay so let's make it full screen again and so there's the original and here is the gigapixel upsize no uh, noise reduction added no sharpening added to it now let's zoom into it a little bit here so you can really see if there's any artifacting or anything no lines of artifacts going through the image at all it's really clean and I could do a 10 by 9 print off of this or even a little bit larger than that actually but let's make it full size again so there it is I mean there's the original and here is the upsized image now I didn't downsize this image to make my comparison test with because it was already tiny to begin with as you can see and I purposefully uh, downloaded a very small version of this image just to see what we can do but uh, Gigapixel AI in my opinion is great I kind of go on the side of Sean Bagshaw and again Sean Bagshaw and Dinesh Dinda of Pix and Perfect two great guys I've, I'm subscribed to them and I, I they're they're great I've learned so much off both of those guys so really like them and uh, but these are my test results and I've been a Topaz guy for the past 10 years and I've been a big advocate with Topaz and I love their noise reduction software and I love their this upsizing gigapixel AI so that's my take hey let me know uh, what you think leave comments and questions in the comment section below if you love gigapixel AI let me know if you hate it let me know if you haven't tried it go to their website and I'll leave a link to that I'm not affiliated with affiliated in any way with them but I love their software okay so I get nothing for doing this video but I want to share it with my uh, viewers and subscribers and, and just let you guys know what's out there so and these are my test results and I hope that they help but again leave comments and questions below and let's talk about this I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it and again if you want to try it get that free trial they don't watermark your images or anything so you have 30 days that you can try it out and see what you think I think it's worth a shot and I think you'd really be happy with it. Well, those are my tests on Gigapixel AI. I hope this helps you. Um, if you enjoyed this video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And also, if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell notification icon. This way, every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified about it. Um, really appreciate each and every one of my viewers and subscribers. You guys are the best, and I really thank you for viewing. It really means a lot to me, and I... I thank you. Uh, but here's the Gigapixel website. And uh, as you can see, it's on sale right now. And uh, they have a holiday sale, 25% off. I used to be a salesman. But what can I say? Once a salesman, always a salesman. Eh, I don't know. But anyway, there it is. Hey, guys, thanks again for joining me today on The Joy of Editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see each and every one of you right here next time. But until then, happy editing.